In over 80% of the fatal house fires in New Zealand, smoke alarms are either not installed or not working. This video will show you how a smoke alarm works and what to look for when buying one. A smoke alarm is designed to detect smoke in the house and sound a loud beep to alert you that there's a fire. The loud beep is key because when you sleep, you have no sense of smell. This is why a working smoke alarm gives you and your family the best chances of surviving a fire. So which alarm should you buy? There's a wide range available and it can be confusing, but there are just two things you need to look for. The smoke detector type and the battery type. A smoke alarm detects smoke in two ways, photoelectric or ionization. Photoelectric alarms optically detect smoke particles entering the alarm, which causes a light beam to bounce onto a sensor, which triggers the alarm. Photoelectric smoke alarms can be more expensive, but are less prone to false alarms. They're also better for fires that begin with smoldering, but provide effective all-round detection in all types of fires. Fire and Emergency New Zealand recommend long-life photoelectric smoke alarms. Ionization alarms physically detect smoke particles entering the alarm and disrupting an electrical current, which triggers the alarm. Ionization alarms are usually cheaper and are more common, but they're also easily set off by non-emergencies such as burnt toast. An ionization alarm is more responsive to flaming fires. There are two ways a smoke alarm can be powered, by a battery or hardwired to mains electricity. Hardwired smoke alarms are the most expensive option and require an electrician to install them. Here, we look at the battery options. The easiest way to see what battery type you already have is by looking at the underside of the alarm. If there's a battery compartment that's easily accessible, you have a smoke alarm that takes a 9 volt battery. This will need to be replaced every 9 to 12 months, such as at daylight saving. If the smoke alarm battery compartment is sealed, then you have a long life smoke alarm. These have non-replaceable batteries and the entire alarm must be replaced. This is the type fire and emergency recommend. They're a little more expensive up front, but they work out cheaper over the life of the alarm. You need to test your smoke alarm regularly, at least once a month. To test the alarm, press the test button. If it's okay, you'll hear a loud beep or series of beeps. You can use a broom handle if your smoke alarm is too hard to reach. Every six months, make sure to give it a vacuum to remove any dust or spider webs. If the alarm starts to chirp every five to 10 minutes, it means the battery's low. Don't ever remove it just to shut it up even if it's 4am. Your alarm will continue to work, but it's telling you that you need to get a new battery or replace the alarm as soon as you can. All smoke alarms have a life of 10 years. If it's older than that, it may not work properly and should be replaced. So when you're buying a smoke alarm, please remember to read the details on the packaging. Hopefully, you now know enough to understand what type of alarm you're getting, ionization or photoelectric, and whether it's powered by a replaceable 9 volt battery or a non-replaceable long life battery. If you want to learn more, watch the next video on smoke alarm installation. If you have any questions or issues, please contact your local fire station or visit our website.